we're out in the forest. We're after this right here, natural fertilizer. Take a look, deer poop. No seeds, a great fertilizer. Lots of astral forces, right? The dreamy element in our life. The place we go to when we dream is dominated by the deer and the forces of the deer. So we do like to get a lot of deer poop. We also get a lot of porcupine and moose up here. A place near to us in the forest where you can get really good soil. So come on in close. Let me just show you some of the things that's happening here. Because if you look up here, I pointed this out Kind of repeatedly i just wanted to point out you see how these this forest here is very damaged by the weather it's a, we're on the face of a cliff and that means you're gonna have a lot of debris come down you're gonna have the buildup of really good soil not much of it's going to be used up because the trees don't do very well here so you're going to get a black soil and uh, that's why we come here preferentially without a lot of seed in it too that's another thing i'll just show you like just because you know this is where it all starts watch this if i get in here Watch how black this soil is gonna be. Okay, you can flip this thing around, boom. See that? This right here. Yeah, look at that. You can see it there. See how good that soil is? That's what you want in the garden. So we're gonna come here and get it. And uh, it's kind of fun too. And all I have to do if I don't want these grasses in there, just shake them out, boom, they're out. And I get all of that great stuff all this wonderful soil. Let's get some more, that's a good spot. <clears throat> Again, look at that great stuff. So what we're doing is we're activating one of my favorite principles that is that the, the forest provides the forest provides happiness, inspiration. The forest provides soil, provides shelter, provides food. The forest provides water. The forest attracts the clouds and the rain. The forest is actually what creates the soil ultimately, right? Is the forest actually is bringing the water table up, increasing the fertility of the soil by holding the water content here. Remember, if there's no soil, there's no forest, we'd have rock, it'd just run right off, but here, you can see this rich hummus. Look at this stuff, right? Look at the black, look at this, black. Black materials, look at that, awesome. And this is what creates fertility. At home or garden or forest, the forest provides. All right, come check this out. I've been mining this out. Look at this great soil in here. This is where the deer poop a lot, so that's a signal you're in the right place. Watch this. Watch what's going to be coming out of here. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. That's as good as it gets. I mean, you're not, that's it. This is your, look at the fertility of that right there. And it's got the correct microbiome of the ecosystem here. So when I bring that to my compost pile, all my trees in the yard, the yard becomes more in alignment. It becomes more microbially the same as the forest. So the animals actually start to identify my place as part of the forest. So they don't pick it out or pick on it or eat too much from our land. They leave, they leave their, uh, their mark for sure, but they don't overeat our stuff because we're in the correct microbiome of the environment. You can see, look at this. This is debris that's come down. It's in the soil, look at that. It's debris that's in the soil. This is what you want. This is hugel culture, as they call it in Switzerland, where you have wood in the soil. This is like this naturally over here because so much debris is coming down from being essentially on a cliff and get blasted by that winter weather. Now we're able to, to get some of that magic back to our farm. I, I'm telling you, this is the sacred connection to the soil is one of the most important aspects of fulfillment in life. It, it really is. It's like when you can hunt down good soil, when you can get really good looking soil, 
for your garden and for your trees and they obviously pick up on that there's a connection made it's just it's hard to put words on it we call it fulfillment satisfaction something like that but those are just words Happiness. We're going to keep at it. There's still a lot just in this one spot. So much good stuff. Watch this. This is a good, a good sound. Listen. You hear that? I cracked into wood. You can see that piece of wood. It's under the ground. See that? It came down, here it is, from a storm or something. Piece of root maybe, something, wood, but look, this is, this is really the kind of wood I want. This kind of stuff, this. See this lichen material here? Over the years I've learned that that's excellent for soil. Maybe it's the vitamin D, it's like a mushroom, right? The lichen is a combination of a mushroom and an algae together so will I put this into my soil mix you bet absolutely all this is going in I love getting this in there actually it's one of my favorite things to put in the soil look at that deer poop right there right there yeah the goods Now, there's a young tree, a little maple tree. I'm just pop that out, boom, take it out so I'm not replanting anything. And it's essentially a sterile soil in the sense of there's not seeds in it, there's plenty of bacteria, but it's not gonna grow things in my garden I don't want to be there. Check this out, okay. Because again, this is on a cliff. You can see it just drops off right there and it goes steep. In that kind of environment, you're gonna have the development of these scraggly trees. A lot of this is ash. The ash will pick up the lichen, see all that? I want all that going into my soil. I want all that lichen going into my soil. So I'm not only getting great earth here, but I'm also getting great debris from the forest. Look at that covered in lichens. As you can see, again, we're on the edge of a cliff and that's why this is a great environment. These little plants right here, this is black cherry. These are cherries. So this is gonna be a big year for these cherries, but because we're on this cliff, nothing can really get going. You know, these plants are struggling to make, you can see they just, you know, snap and crackle because it's just brutal out here in the winter. So that's why this great dirt, as I mentioned previously, is evolving here. And uh, again, you know, I'm just mining this right off the side of the hill here. Look how great this is. Once again, the quality of the dirt determines the quality of the food. The quality of the dirt determines the quality of the plants, which determines the quality of the animal, which determines the quality of the human being. All connected right from the true microbiome, which is the soil. It just, it just goes on. I mean, I'm just basically mining this off the side of the cliff here. The forest provides, and the forest will heal these wounds. I'm creating wounds in the forest for sure to help out with our farm, but the forest will heal it. These small wounds are easily rectified by a forest. Such a key idea. If you're going to go out and harvest from the forest, do a little here, a little there. Look at that black earth. And uh, the forest will heal itself. Boom. Should I get one more? I think we're good. We're good for the moment. Whoa, heavy.
Getting little types of soils and dirt and earth. Yeah. Always getting little things like that. decomposing. This is great earth. I'll hunt around for stuff like that. Look at that. Watch. The whole base of this tree. Good, excellent earth. Hugel culture. Taking advantage of all the broken down and decomposed wood in particular. Look at this. Okay, going after some more interesting stuff. Remember, I'm a big fan of lichens. You get lichens into the soil. So whenever I see trees down, excellent sample of material, what I'm looking for to go into my mixes. And again, the forest provides anything I want. The forest has what I want. It's like a mall. <laughs> the mall is a fake forest. Big black ants. Now, I don't want to transport ants over, so I'll leave them here. But beautiful material, nevertheless. mycelium development. See that white stuff? That's the mycelium development. That's the mushroom. The microbiome of the forest. Getting little samples from here and there. Look at this, this is gonna be good. Oh my god, this is good. Whoa. Oh my god. Black soil. Okay, so get a bunch of that. Look at that. Take that with us. Cover that up. Boom. culture get all the debris boom I'll chop that up break that down it's all going to the soil 